top of the morning, lads, and welcome back to Wallace and Gromit Grand Adventures. This time around, we're going to play Episode 2, The Last Resort. Alright. So, we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. So, let's go. Gromit's all ready to go. <laughs> oh no! Help, Gromit! Do something! Call the Coast Guard! about raining cats and dogs, our plumbing's in a right pickle. Fetch me my spanner, lad, while I stick me finger in the dike. <laughs> okay. That's our first tutorial level. What do we have in our inventory? We got a toy shovel. That's it. Alright, uh... Well, at least these tables are conveniently laid on a path for us. Just the job. Bring it here now, will you, lad? It's a good thing this fits, this heavy metal object fits in my armpit, no problem. Alright. I love that that's where the inventory is. Here you go. Well done. Our troubles are over. Whoops. Oh. Crikey. That was a shock. Best trip to circuit breaker, lad. And stay clear of the water. It's electric! Well, that's safe. Where's the breaker? Is this it? Yep. Oh, oh. Look out, lad. The tide's coming in. Best find another way to the circuit breaker. Alright, well. I shouldn't bother with that, Gromit. It's still only a prototype. Uh, if you say so. I love that clean me stuff there. Well, I don't think we're gonna have any other choice but to get into this. Gromit, have you gone, Crackers? You'll get yourself electrocuted. <laughs> Using the toy shovel's paddle. That's our Gromit. No fear. I can't get over there though. There's like a the water's causing me problems. So how can I? Or there's somewhere else in the basement I can get. Is there anything over there? No. Nothing useful here, doesn't seem. Let's grab this though, I think. Careful, lad! That's extremely volatile compressed rocket gas. Ex NASA! Why do you have it? I know you're an inventor, but how that circuit breaker will be fried! How, how, how do you manage to get these things, Wallace? I don't understand. All right, we'll see if this does anything for us. Steer clear, lad, or you'll get cooked. Don't do it, lad. You'll blow yourself to smithereens. Lincoln, Nora. Well done, Gromit. Poor be fixed in a jiffy. Just a moment. Turn to the right. And now, it's safe to hit the light. That's better. Oh, there you are. Well, we'd best clean up. Crack on, lad. There's a lot to do. Oh, boy. Sorry about the unseasonal weather. I'm afraid it means we'll have to put off our little trip to the seaside. Unless we bring the seaside to us. Wallace, I'm not sure if you're aware, but your dog. Your dog almost just died. Look here, we've already got a cellar full of water. Just a few more items. There we are. 
and we can enjoy the seaside from the comfort of our own home. Ho ho ho! Won't that be something, lad? We'll stay home for the holidays and have our own beach to boot. Lucky the rain's let up for now. I'll be back in a trice with all the necessaries. Sun, sand and beach umbrella coming up. What I was about to say is, his dog almost just died, and he immediately was like, I have a crazy idea, let's go do it. <laughs> okay, well I suppose we're gonna go get said things. So we want all those things, it seems. Well, let's go take a look-see, I suppose. Who's that? Duncan, what are you doing here? Picking you up, lassie. Of a date. Surely you're not still thinking of the beach. It's freezing cold and might rain any moment. Ah, a little wet never dampened the spirits of my biscuit. Grab your wellies and we'll be off. Duncan, I really don't think so. You must admit, it's hardly beach weather. Oh, I could borrow the umbrella if you're That'd not going to use it. Ridiculous. Oh, hello there, Wallace. Come and meet Duncan McBiscuit. He's an old friend. <laughs> and of course, you know my two precious darlings, Fuji Woo and Tinky Wee. Say hello to Mr. Wallace, angels. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, look, Gromit. It's your friends from next door. Cute little fellows. Oh, yes. They're show dogs, you know. Prize winners. They're my pride and joy. Well, I won't keep you. No, 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 no. Duncan was just leaving. Leaving with you, lassie, for a day on the beach. But what if there's a cloudburst? I don't consider thunder and lightning very pleasant beach companions. But there's no thunder and no lightning. Can you hear any thundering? Any cracking or booming? Well, can you? Maybe I can. Just hush your tongue a moment, will you? Hmm. Do I have to do something to make it sound like there is or something? You can I hear no thunder, can you? Not even a wee tinkle. I suppose not. Rather stay warm and dry here at home if you don't mind. Oh, dear fun. So, we have to make it sound like there's thunder, but how do I go about doing that? Sun, sand, beach umbrella. Well, I don't know how to make thunder noises, unfortunately. Let's go take a look-see about. We must act now, before the flood! Gather the townsfolk! We'll stack the sandbags to the north, south, and east. Still time, if we hurry. Look lively now, Soda! No, 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 you can't dump these sandbags here. Just, just, just wait a moment, Major, please. Stop dithering, you dudderhead! The town's being swept under! There's now being swept under, Major. And you're beginning to be a public nuisance. Oh, man. Ooh, ap cheese wheels, I think. Afternoon, Wallace. Oh, yeah. It's a stack of Stilton. Oh, was that the earth-shaking roar of thunder? Uh, well, actually, uh... It doesn't matter when it comes to the complex question of climate. A person should never really rely on his own senses. Only the experts really understand the weather. Oh? So can we get some of this Stilton, or...? Oh, is that thunder I hear? Uh, not exactly. Uh, didn't think so. After all, you can't tell what the weather's doing just by looking and listening, can you? You've got to rely on the experts. Well, I, I get it. That's my thunder noise. Hey, he has a beach ball in there. No beach brollies left. Sorry. A big burly bloke bought the last one, and he weren't very polite about it. 
Am I still barred from your- what's this? Quite a light, Mr. Paneer. It's a searchlight. I say, no shortage of candle power there. Right as the salt, don't you think? Wonderful for bringing in the big spenders. When the weather's fair, that is. I wonder, Mr. Paneer, where might a person acquire such a light? I'd be happy to lend you this one, but if the weather warms up tonight, I'll need it to advertise my super sore away sizzling summer sale. Oh. Well, I can borrow this, apparently, but that's definitely what I need for a sun. Unless Wallace has one kicking around in his room. What's the latest cheese of the week, I wonder? Stilton. And that reminds me. I just sent the truck out with your delivery. When you return home, you'll find it waiting patiently on your doorstep. Ah, just like Gromit. You know, Mr. Wallace, there's nothing like coming home to a faithful loyal cheese. I quite agree. <laughs> well, I guess that answers my problem for getting the cheese. We're probably not gonna borrow that. Just yet. I can get the umbrella right quick. I'm the forecast isn't very sunny for Mr. Panea's sale. Take a look about, I guess. Uh, um. Yes, soldier, out with it. Uh, well, uh, if you'd like to unload these sandbags, I know just the spot. Just as I told you, the people are pleading for sand, and we've got to give it to them. I'd like to give it to you, you loony old goat. But if you've got a need for sandbags, Wallace, I hereby grant you permission. Oh? You grant permission? Indeed. Take all you want, Wallace. Infernal cheek. I'm the commanding officer here, you jumped up Jobsworth, and I hereby revoke permission. Can't you be cooperative just this once, Major? Cooperative? I don't know the meaning of the word. Sounds subversive to me. All right, Major, how about this? Why don't we ask Wallace here who's in command? This young Pongo? Hmm. Very well. Why not? Tell us, soldier, who holds rank here? Remember your training. Oh, boy. Um, if I, I, if I sat with him, he's not going to... And if I side with him, we are waiting, soldier. He might arrest me if I don't chase him. Uh, well, he's he's you're discommissioned. You don't work there anymore. He's still an officer. Well, the constable is uh, an officer of the law. Aha! Like I told you, I call the shots in this district. The sandbags are yours, Wallace. They are not. But you're the one who wanted a jumper, Major! That was before you waltzed in and tried to usurp my authority! Wallace, kindly tell the Major here who the officer in charge is, will ya? That's right, soldier. Inform this non-combatant nincompoop where his duty lies! I... but... I... well... If I say yes to you, will you give me the side bags? But if I say Go yes to ahead, you, Wallace, tell him how it is. if I say yes to you, he'll probably not let me have them anyway. But we'll give it a shot. Well, the major is a a major. Ah, ah, just so. Now stand down, or I'll have you clapped in irons. You may have the sandbags, Wallace. I grant you permission. I deny you permission to grant permission. Yes, I give the orders round here. Now, who's being uncooperative? I'm the authority here, and what I say goes. Uh, ain't that right, Wallace? Back me up here. How, how long are we going to be at this? Regarding those sandbags, not now, man! We need to teach this impertinent interloper to show some respect. Tell him to obey his superiors. Go on, Wallace. Tell the old goose what's what for a chucks him in chalky. I'm... Two fine flavors that work well together. We're talking about who's in charge, not flavors. Just a moment. 
Are you saying that instead of bickering over who's in charge, we should be working together as a team, like uh, steak and kidney? Uh, are you saying that in a crisis like this, we must act as one, like a well-trained commando unit? Actually, it's a sign... Exactly, a sign that we can now rise above our squabbles. Very well, then. Uh, here's what we'll do. We'll send these sandbags off with you. Thank goodness. Well, I'll be off then. I can hear an hot meat pie calling me name. Yes, I can. Ernest Dibbins, it's saying. It's tea time. Fetch the blinking ketchup, Ernest. Now then, soldier. All I need is your requisition form. Requisition form? That's right. Got to play by the book. Can't let the spies sabotage operations, can we? Spies? Surely you've heard about the spies from abroad. They're everywhere. Don't look so rattled, man. Just bring me your requisition form, and you'll soon be neck deep in splendid sandbags. Oh, right then. There's always one extra step to these things in there. Well, that was... <laughs> A rather convenient sign. All right. Well, do you hello, have any? Hello. You have any papers I can oh, borrow? Afternoon, Mrs. Gabberly. Hello, Wallace. Lovely weather, isn't it? Well, uh, I. Uh... I'm joking, Pat. I know it's rotten. Had to cancel me holiday. That's a shame. Certainly is. Being stuck with old misery guts here. I heard that! He don't miss a word I say, except when I ask him to do summit. Ah! Sitting behind a till all day ain't exactly hard labour. What would you know about hard labour? I could run this place a sight better than you, if I had a mind to. If you had a mind? What will it be, love? Uh... I wonder. Sandman strikes again. I don't know. Go, I'll, I'll Looking look. for something to read? Take your pick. I'll put it on your slate. I suppose it makes sense to get the weather one. More rotten weather on the way tonight, they say. All set. Hey, make sure he don't nick any sweets. Mind your own business. That old misery guts thinks he could run this shop. <laughs> He couldn't run a bus. That's a shame. Um, do I want all of them? Uh, well, if I find a need for the others, I know where to come, but... Oh, well. Ta-ra, Chuck. Uh, goodbye. I don't... I don't, don't suppose that really did me any good, now did it? Well, maybe if we check back at home, we can at least get the umbrella bit done. Let's go take a look-see, shall we? I don't have a map yet, so I can't quick port. Oh boy. Wow, he gave me a lot, man. Crave. Oh, yeah, it's mouth watering. Oh, did you hear an unearthly rumbling? Rumbling? What rumbling? Oh, I can't hear properly over your endless prattle. Well, let's just take a listen, make them... I say, that's a handsome beach brawny. Perhaps you'd like to borrow it. You're most welcome. We won't be needing it as we're not going anywhere. Oh yes, we are, lassie. Oh no, we aren't, Duncan. You can borrow the brawny once Duncan and I have finished our little discussion. Duncan. Well, how do I make him listen to the sky again? <clears throat> Ah, mind your own beeswax, you big both and butts. Duncan, don't be so rude. I'll be sweet as honey when I'm buzzing round the beach with my best lassie. I won't be buzzing anywhere in this bitter weather. Oh, but still, Duncan, this cold will turn my... Ahem, <clears throat> cute little fellas. Oh, they're more than cute, Mr. Wallace. They're show dogs. And they're far too delicate for wintry weather. Why, my precious puppets would turn to popsicles. Duncan. Oh, here, I'll give him the... I'll give him the thing. Stormy weather ahead, I'm afraid. 
We're not interested in some fancy pants weather forecast. Oh, I'm interested. Don't you trust them scientists? They can't tell the future. If they could, they'd be rich and have girlfriends and that, wouldn't they? A real man trusts his own senses, and my senses tell me it's a bony day for the beach. It's it's not though. It's not see? Oh boy, okay, maybe I have to go grab some more of those papers. So let's just do that right quick. So always more than one to step to these puzzles, it seems. I need a paper for the 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 major. I need to find a way to get them to stop bickering so they actually listen. Go ahead and swap, love. Okay, what would make them knitting natter? Maybe, maybe this. I know who that's for. Found what you wanted, I trust. Yeah, do I only keep one at a time? Seems so. Alright. Let's head back. Uh, I know Gromit nets, that's the thing he does. I don't think we're actually getting this magazine for him, though. Oh, I just noticed there was a snoo snoozy chalk uh, poster on the wall there, but anyway. Uh, I don't know if this will do anything. I picked up a copy of your favorite periodical. Not in the mood, eh? Let's stick with building our beach, then. <laughs> that look he gave me. It's like, this is not the time. No, thank you. I refuse to go out in a thunderstorm. Oh, there's no thunderstorm. You can't hear no thundering, can you? Maybe I can hear thundering. Just put your bagpipes for a moment, will you? Oh, well, here we go. Oh, my gracious. That's thunder, all right. And it's nearly upon us. Oh, for sure it may be thundering, but but did you see lightning? There's no lightning to bother about us, sir. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not going to stay out here with you waiting to be struck by lightning. I'm going to seek shelter, and if you've any sense at all, Duncan McBiscuit, you'll do the same. Good day. What? Oh. What are you looking at, Jimmy? Well, you forgot the parasol, so let's nab that. I'll just borrow this. Just the thing for our cellar-based indoor beach experience. Oh, there we go. It's not quite the solution I expected, but you know what? It works. Kind of just randomly decided to go. No, I don't. I don't want. I don't want that. Here, let's listen to the lightning again. So that was kind of random. What can I do about... Oh, oh, this. I can take this. Ho, oh, ho! A special order for 62 West Wallaby Street. Stilton. One of my favorites. Well, we, you have it now. But we can use that special order as the paper we need for the Major, I'm, I'm reckoning. So, let's go try that. Gotta be observant in these games. Gotta pay attention to the minor little things, because they... They may be puzzle things, so here we go. I don't want to look at this anymore. Why am I stuck? Well, I think I just broke the game by accident. I can't... I can't get out of this position, so... Uh, give me a sec. Good thing the game just saved. Oh no. I broke the game, guys. I loaded the game back and I'm just back here. I can't move. I can't right click out of it like I'm supposed to. When I bring the map back up, I just do debt, put it away. It's still. I can't get out of this. So, I have to play through the entire game again back to this point. Be right back!
Okay, we're back. Um, I'm gonna just see really quick if I can make a... No, I can't. I can't make multiple save files, which is kind of troublesome. Because if I get stuck like that again, my only option is just to start over, which is a little bit inconvenient, but whatever. <clears throat> we're back to where we were. I'm gonna not look at the map thing ever again. And... Here we go. It's only for cheese, but give that here. Good heavens. Special orders deliver to 62 West Wallaby Street. You've done the service proud, soldier. Now stand clear. No time for chitter chatter. I'm needed in West Wallaby Street. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> there we are. Alright, so we got the sand. All we need now is the sun. I don't know how we're gonna go about getting that, though. Oh, oh! That's what we need the other paper for. Bad weather ahead. We'll give it to him. Afternoon. Hopefully this is the answer, and then I can feel smart about myself. Changed your mind, did you? Go ahead and swap, love. Let's get the forecast. More. I'll take that back. Hey, make sure it. Mind your. All right, here we go. So, I'm gonna go ahead talk to uh, Mr. Paneer. Stormy weather ahead, I'm afraid. Oh? Oh no! After all that, my sizzling summer sail is ruined. I go on holiday. But the weather's a washout. Will the sun never shine on yours truly? I'm sorry about that, Mr. Paneer. Can I borrow this? I say, I wonder where a person might acquire such a light. You're welcome to borrow this one, Mr. Wallace. There won't be any sizzling summer sail tonight. Not in this blinking weather. That's very kind of you. Always happy to help. Oh, oh, oh. this light'll make a smashing sun. And I'll just put that on my armpit. We'll just <laughs> stick that right in there, and off we go. We got what we need. Mission accomplished. We got all we need. I'll be back soon with some sand. Can't build a proper beach without it. Well, we have the sand, yo. Look, Gromit, a beach load of sand. Just need to drop it into the cellar. But the water. Whoops a daisy. There we go. Top hole. All the sand we need. The Riviera, here we come. Great news, Gromit. All the goods have been gathered. Now it's time for some elbow grease, eh? To the cellar. I'm worried about those sandbags because it was just full of water down there. Job done, Gromit. Time to relax on the beach, eh? We deserve a holiday. Just a minute. Such a lovely beach. It's a shame to keep it to ourselves when we could share it with paying customers. Paying? Just imagine West Wallaby Street Water World. A genuine beach house, complete with its own all weather seaside in the cellar basement beach attraction. Oh, oh, we'll be surrounded by happy holiday makers. It'll be grand, Gromit. This man's ruining my blinking holiday. Half a mind to take my book and spade and go your sandwich. I was only teasing. Just ask that great big pudding there. Shut up! I ain't no pudding yet. These dogs are disturbing the peace. Bylaws state that all livestock must be kept under proper control in public places. And they're not livestock. I want a refund. I want a refund and all. Refunds would indeed appear to be in order, Mr. Wallace. 
What do you say? Uh, uh, um, well, here at West Wallaby Street, Waterworld, customer satisfaction is our top priority. If you'll just be patient, I promise we'll have everything under control by supper time. Uh, You've got till supper time, no later. Not much of an holiday so far, I'm sorry to say. Mm, those mutts are a threat to public Stay safety. Shop and just to be tin man. fruit display. Calling my dears livestock. We can't afford to give refunds, Gromit. We've spent all our money doing the house up. This could be a financial disaster. What are we going to do, lad? I never thought we'd have a house full of unhappy holiday makers. Bunch of morning minis, if you ask me. I'm having a grand old time. Well, that's one satisfied customer, anyway. There we are. This customer relationship management isn't so hard, is it, Gromit? There's hope for our little venture yet. You'd best get supper started. Make it a feast to remember. I'll see to our guests. We'll soon have a house full of happy campers, eh, lad? I guess we'll give it a shot. If everybody's so unhappy, why are they still in here? Because they don't want to leave without Hello, their money. Wallace. Uh, I trust everything at West Wallaby Street Waterworld is to your satisfaction, Miss Flit. We strive to satisfy. It's sweet of you to ask, Mr. Wallace. I'm having a wonderful time. All this drama swirling around me. But I remain an oasis of calm in the hurly-burly of holiday madness. Oh, glad to hear it. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Well, that's an easy solution, I suppose. How funny! That sounded just like my little darling's chew toy. Really? I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, you like this, Wallace? I've been longing for a new look. And I quite fancy this one. Very incognito, don't you think? My own babies wouldn't recognize me in this ghetto. Uh, I'm afraid fashion isn't really my forte, Miss Flick. Nonsense. What man is immune to the allure of a well-dressed woman? Um, a lot. Because they're clothes. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's talk to uh... Your searchlight is just what West Wallaby Street Waterworld needed, Mr. Paneer. Everything satisfactory, I hope? No, not satisfactory at all. A certain Scottish gentleman has been deconstructing my constructions. Perhaps the management could have a word with him. I'm afraid Mr. McBiscuit is rather difficult to pin down. You've got to do something. If I can't finish my sandcastle, I'll have to insist on a refund. Your castle looks very handsome, Mr. Paneer. Such charming little bucket shapes. I do admire creative artists like yourself. Oh, thank you, Miss Flit. At least someone appreciates art and craft. Look, it's almost done. What do you reckon? Uh, very nice. That's the royal court where the king holds sumptuous banquets for all his royal chums. That's the enchanted tower where the beautiful princess sleeps, dreaming of a successful marriage to a financially secure prince. <coughs> That's the tower of groceries where the heroic young shopkeeper sells top quality produce. Impressive architecture, don't you think? Oh, uh, yes. That's the horrible dungeon where the mean bullying knight is kept locked in chains. I guess I that's it. Look in on our other guests. But I'm nearly done. Just one last touch. There. The perfect finishing touch. The mark of finest quality produce. Me. Miss Flit's going to be impressed. Oh, hi. She'll be ever so impressed, I'm sure. Oh, no. Uh, 
Rips my food slap, Sally me. <laughs> my castle, stomped on by a tartan heel. See what I have to put up with? A holiday's not a blinking holiday if I can't finish my sand castle. Now I have to start all over. That's only the one. You don't have to do it all. How's the old sand castle going? I'm not ready for viewing, Mr. Wallace. Uh, I guess we'll go see where... Where do you even go? Where do you even go? Where do you even go? He walked to the right, now he's not here. Where did he go? This basement, this cellar is not that big. Whatever, I'll... Ooh, thing. Enjoying your holiday, I hope, Major? Ooh, yes, absolutely. Dashed comfortable billet you have here. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, we strive to achieve complete customer satisfaction. That wasn't so hard. Put that thing down and pay attention. Oh. I am about to reenact one of the greatest desert battles of history, the Siege of Aqaba. Not many know the tale. It was late 1914, or was it 1916? It was an even year of that, I'm sure. On the one side was a single British soldier, T.E. Lawrence, better known to you civvies as Sir Lawrence of Olivia. On the other, the invading army of the Ottoman Empire, thousands strong. You know the story. Lawrence single-handedly defended a desert fortress from a massive attack. He had only one rifle and no ammunition. He was all alone. Just like this, Lawrence watched the enemy from a secret vantage point sheltered by enormous red boulders. Anyway, as the enemy massed, vultures began to circle overhead, crying out in their desperate thirst for blood. Hmm. Anyway, now at this point your average Joe would have thrown in the towel and anything else he had to hand. But what do you think our Lawrence did? He took tea. Hmm. Anyway, Lawrence was about to dunk his digestive when suddenly... Oh, blast and bother. This isn't right. Not quite historically accurate, I'm afraid. I'll have to start again. Just a moment. Uh, okay, so he wants big red boulders for cover. He wants screeching things for bloody murder. He wants tea. Okay, so I have to set up all those things for his story in order to do what? I don't know. Maybe I get the soldier after. I'm going to assume I'm going to get that little soldier at some point. Right there. And we're going to stick it on the sandcastle. So that... <clears throat> Excuse me. So that, uh, our Irish friend, or whatever he is, Scottish, maybe, I don't know, will step on it, hurt his foot, and then that's, that's what, that's my assumption so far. So let's go check on the others right quick. What's that? That might be what I need for part of the story. So I just need red boulders and tea. Where can I get said boulders? I can't really go over here. That's where my camera stops. Let's see. Nothing else in the basement it looks like. So I guess we'll go upstairs and figure that out. Ooh, thing. Let me touch it. Rome, it's favorite. All right, uh, we'll get back to you, Mr. Paneer. We'll be back, Major. Red boulders and tea. So, let's take a look at the kitchen. Hard at work, eh, Gromit? That's what I like to see. We'll soon have a house full of happy holiday makers, never fear. Oh, cracking idea, lad. Everyone loves a copper. You'd best attend to your pots and pans, eh? <laughs> That's why I love Gromit. He's very... They mastered the silent character art with Gromit, I think. Like, they did really well with him. It's brilliant. 
Mr. Wallace, I'd like a word with you, if you please. Enjoying your stay at West Wallaby Street, Waterworld, Constable? I'm this close to having your establishment shut down. Shut down? You heard me. These dogs are a public nuisance and an health hazard and all. Oh, dear. Went bonkers, they did. And all because I tried to clear away that horrible little toy of theirs. I don't approve of litter, you know. I believe Miss Flit... I warned Felicity Flit and all. And now she must face the full force of the law. I'm issuing a formal caution for the disruption of lawful quietude. It's the third I've had to write today. The third? Aye, the first two got eaten. Give this one to Miss Flit and tell her to remove her animals or I'll be forced to shut the place down. Oh, well, there's yarn here. Gromit won't mind if I borrow this. If you're so sure, what's this? Well, that's that's pretty neat. Can I take that ball? Yeah. Oh, bouncy. Just shove that in my armpit. All right. What's that? Oh, Photobot. Jeez. Pretty sure just ran over the dog during that. All right, and is that the only two destinations here? Yeah. No. Oh no. Never mind. There's three. Well, I don't know what purpose this is going to solve right now, but or do I? Did I acquire a photo doing that? No. Well, I have a feeling I'm going to take a picture for a certain background or get somebody to do it for some reason at some point, so we'll keep that in mind. What's this? Mmm. That seems to be in working order. He threw it on the ground. He doesn't like litter. What do we do? Ooh, there's a spaceship warming in from like the first episode. Anyway, uh. Do, 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 do. Oh, I say, Gromit never reacts like that. Watch your fingers. They don't like anyone touching the toy. We have something that sounds like a toy in the basement. Alright, well, let's go see Miss Flit. But before we do, I'm going to take a ganders in my other rooms. Bevy of brollies, to think of all the trouble I went through to get just one. Whatever. All right. I'm going to examine other parts of the house, see if there's other... Oh. Why is she so upset? Anything I can do for you, Mrs. Gabberly? Oh, dear. Oh, what a mess I am! But it's me own fault for letting that mangy McBiscuit get under me skin. Why should I care what he says? As me mum taught me, sticks and stones will break your bones, but silly names can never hurt you. Hey! Here comes trouble! Yeah, big fat pudding! Ha 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 ha! Big fat pudding? No more, it's true enough, I know it. I'm out of shape for a beach holiday. Perhaps I should just get my refund and go home. Oh no. That's kind of you, but it's no good. I can't be talked out of a mood like this, can I? Oh well, I. Uh... Oh! It's a sorry old world, isn't it? Thanks to the bullies. <sighs> what a right stinker that guy's be. <laughs> stinky cheese. Anyway, uh... that's a stinky cheese. I can't say as I understand you, Wallace. It's not just me, is it? 
What do you think of Duncan McBiscuit? He's... Uh... Sharp as a knife. Well, I don't think he's all that sharp. Oh, it's a sorry old world, isn't it? Thanks to the bullies. It's a sad thing. A sad thing. Too true. Too true. You're a wise old owl, aren't you, Wallace? Oh, you're a neat good listener, you are, Wallace. Hey, you're in a right mess, you are, Winnie Gabbley, and no mistake. What to do? What to do? There's nothing like a cup of tea. Aye, that's right. A strong cup of cures most ills. Oh, we're starting to get there. You're here, Wallace. I'd go home to Mr. Gabbley, but there's no point. Won't get no sympathy from him indoors, will I? Uh, the, the, but, the, uh, bit of, the, 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 the Romance? A bit of romance. Oh, cheeky. But yes, Gabbley does have his romantic side. Occasionally. You know what? Winnie Gabbley's had enough of feeling sorry for herself. So what if I'm a bit like a pudding? I've tangled with giant bees, I have. I can take care of a bullying McBiscuit any day. Thank you, Wallace. You've a right kindly way with words, you have. Uh, glad to be of service. I'll be fine now, Pat. Reckon I'll finish my story. Hey! In there, you big fat! Shut your trap, you tartan tear away, or I'll box your ears! Hmm, I do like a good book. No need for a refund, then? Oh, no. I'm as happy as Larry me. Oh, another happy camper. Took me a second to catch on to the little word game thing we had going on here, but after I figured it out, that wasn't too hard. <laughs> I wonder if anyone would like a cup of tea. I, I know. I'll work on it, Wallace. I'm just doing other things. What's this about? Supper time yet, is it, lad? Sorry about that. Uh, I'll keep that in mind for when it is supper time then. Whoops. Didn't mean to make Gromit mad. Well, let's go ahead and deliver a cup of tea to. Uh. The Major. I don't know what I'm gonna be, do be doing about the dogs just yet, but we'll figure it out. Have I not mentioned the indoor slide? I should mention that 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 there was an indoor slide. Anyway, how about a cup of tea, Major? May I offer you a spot of tea, Major? Of course, sharpens the wits. All right, he'll have that now. Then all we need now is a big red mountain. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Any interest in this? Perfect! Just like the great boulders of the Akbar Desert! I think that should be all three things then. Let's take it, let's give it a shot. You're in luck, my boy! I was just about to reenact the Siege of Akbar. Do you know the story? Sir Lawrence took cover under massive red boulders. Just like this. Vultures circled the sky, crying out for blood. Just like this, our Lawrence, cool as a cabbage, took tea. <laughs> Just like this. Lawrence was taking tea and about to dunk his digestive when suddenly... 
10,000 howling Ottoman soldiers charged the fortress. The team was ruined, obviously. But did Lawrence of Olivier give up? Never! He took his rifle and levered the great red boulders down the dunes, rolling them straight into the enemy horde. With the invaders in disarray, Lawrence, armed only with his bayonet, and still desperate for cover, counterattacked. He took them on one by one until he achieved total and complete victory! That was brilliant. I'll take this now. I'll just tidy this up. Right in my armpit. <laughs> hey, I got you a guard for your castle. Hey, this little fella might enhance your sandcastle. A knight to defend the castle, eh? Why not? It couldn't hurt. Put him where you like. Uh, that one, yeah? That's the horrible dungeon where the mean bullying knight is kept locked in chains. Oh, I think he changed things around. That's the enchanted tower where the beautiful princess sleeps dreaming. That's the tower of groceries where the heroic young shopkeeper sells top quality produce. Impressive architecture, don't you think? Oh. That's the royal court where the king holds sumptuous banquets for all his royal chums. We'll move where this guy's sitting then. I think we want him on the produce one. We'll give that a try. Just one last touch. There! The mark of finest quality produce. I can't wait to show Miss Flit. And I'm sure she can't wait to see. Oh no. Uh, oh, my boot! My poor tender boot! It was a blasted soundtrack! Oh, 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 oh. Well then, should be able to work in peace now, I reckon. Oh, well, jolly good. Now for the finishing touch. The defender of the kingdom. However do you manage such lovely creations, Mr. Paneer? It's a knack, Miss Flit. If I hadn't made it into grocer school, I might have been an engineer. But of course, groceries are my first love. Ah, uh, anything else I can assist with? No, thank you, Mr. Wallace. You may consider me a happy camper and most satisfied customer. We do aim to please. One left. Just the constable. Miss Flit seems very excited about her new look. Blue and white stripes must be all the rage these days. I have anything like that. So where can I go about getting the blue and stripes? Uh, I haven't checked the bedroom yet, so we can take a quick look-see up there. Have a quick peek, see if there's anything else we can nab up right quick. Ah, uh, Mr. McBiscuit, may I, uh, have a word? Oh! Uh, later then. Crikey, the infrastructure's getting a lot of wear and tear. Trouble springs eternal, it seems. What about the bedspread? It must be at least this tall to ride. <laughs> What's this then? Fun. in working order. Well, better make sure we always click the fun button. I see those glasses there, though. That could be good for, uh... Very fashionable. Stick that in my armpit. Uh, anything else? I can give her the glasses, at least. Um... I'd better stay here and see to our guests. Yeah, I figured as much. Something to get our guests in the holiday mood. That's my automated ocean breeze simulator. 
Also known as a fan. <laughs> oh, right there! I didn't even notice the flag before. This needs ironing, it does. Take that then. I don't know if there's anything else. There we go. Okay, head back downstairs. Let's see if we can give those glasses a. We'll see if we can get those glasses and, uh, flag to her, so... Hello again. Would you like these sunglasses? Oh, wonderful, Mr. Wallace. Very stylish. I'll use these for my new look. It's going to be such fun. I have the glasses. I just need the scarf. And I got it right here. Any interest in this? Thank you, Mr. Wallace. What a lovely scarf. Actually, it's a... Uh... Such vibrant colour and such a pretty pattern. It's perfect for my new look. My new look is complete. Just a moment. You're in for a surprise. Ta-da! What do you think, Wallace? Am I not mysterious? Uh, quite mysterious, yes. <gasps> oh, where's Felicity? Where did Miss Flit go? Uh... Here I am! <laughs> we do have fun, Wallace, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> You're completely bonkers. Ow. Well, now that we've done that, I suppose we'll have to... Constable Dibbins has requested... Constable Dibbins is mistaken. Hoochie Woo and Tinky Wee would never misbehave. They did seem a touch rambunctious. Oh, very well. Let's get this over with. Threatening behaviour towards an officer of the law, that's a serious offence, that is. Don't think I won't lock you up, cos I will. This is your final, final warning. Oh, <gasps> oh you woo! Take it away! How could you behave like this? Mummy is... Very disappointed. Very, very disappointed. And what did you do to upset my precious cupcakes like that? Cupcakes? My darlings, did the bad man upset you? Don't be scared. Mummy's here now. How about a little dressing up game to make it all better? Do you want to play dress up? Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Oh, come along, my sweets. <sighs> She's lucky I didn't throw those mutts in the kennels. I were this close, I were. You can only push PC Ernest Dibbins so far. I hope your holiday is proceeding in a satisfactory manner, Constable. Satisfactory? Hmm. Yes. Yes, indeed. Everything appears to be quite satisfactory, peaceful, and in order. Thank you, Wallace. Champion, we're getting there. Ha <laughs> ha! At last! A house full of satisfied customers, just as I predicted. I'd best tell Gromit to lay the table. Must compliment our host. I've had a cracking holiday. Oh, thank goodness for that. It was a near thing though, wasn't it? Oh, smell those fish and chips. We can look forward to superior chow here in the office's mayor's one. Mm. The tableware doesn't seem to be in breach of any health and safety regulations. Enforcement's the key, of course. You smell like heaven, lassie. Did you buy a new perfume for our date? Oh, really, Duncan? That's just the flower in my hair. And I'm not sure I'd call it a date. 
Um, uh, before we tuck in, on behalf of the management, that is, Gromit and me, I'd like to welcome you all to our new venture. West Wallaby Street Water World, the only holiday destination with its own all-weather seaside in the cellar basement uh, beach attraction. to say myself. Raise your glasses. Raise them, I said. To a great day with a great lass. The sweetest sights I ever smelled. That's right, I'm talking about... Hey, who turned out the... Ah, what's all this? Hi there! 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 Hi Well, seems we're switching perspective back to Gromit here. <laughs> Help me! Help me, somebody! How did they... Uh, is someone here? Help me! I can't move! How did they manage that? I guess we'll have to dig him out. Thank you, whoever you are. I was this close to taking my last breath. You found me just in time. I've located the victim. Mr. McBiscuit has sustained a nasty knock to the noggin and don't remember now about it. Happily, he will recover. However, aggravated thumping is a serious offence, and I've no choice but to treat every one of you as suspects. Outrageous! <gasps> Would I never do it? Suspects? <coughs> Until our thumper is caught, nobody leaves this house. Nobody comes in, and nobody goes out. Not till I know the person who done it. I know who did it. Spies from abroad. Saboteurs from the South Sea. Thank you, Major. That's enough of your doolally chatter for now. Only cold, hard facts can solve this mystery. Solve this mystery? That's right. By the book. You know, uh, burden of innocence and uh, proof of purchase and all that. That's our real investigations. Now, what's that contraption? My latest prototype, Constable. The Deductomatic Mystery Solver. Deductomatic? Is that what's been taking money out of my savings account? Oh no, Mrs. Gabberly. The Deductomatic harnesses unused brain power to solve mysteries. If you're pointing the finger, Wallace, any accusation must be backed up by hard fact and proven according to the law. Well, I. Uh, that is, it should be working. Uh -huh. I've got it. All right then. Tell us, Wallace. Who thumped Duncan McBiscuit? Who done it? Who done it? Oh, that can't be right. We're waiting. Uh, uh, uh just a moment. Any idea who done it, lad? You wouldn't mind pointing him out, would you? We know it's the mutts, but now we just have to get everything in order. Uh, well, there's clues on the ground if I can observe them in any way. It was Poojie Woo and Tinky Wee! <laughs> Two wee pups laying junk and low. That's daft, that is. Aye, <laughs> silly that. The very idea of accusing my dear doggies. How absurd. Aye, quite absurd. <laughs> uh, 
absurd, <laughs> eh? Nothing is absurd before the law. Here we go. It is the absurd claims the law takes most seriously. For if the absurd cannot expect justice and a fair hearing, then who among us can? He's got a point. We must treat this accusation according to the law. The law requires proof. Proof requires... Uh, hold on. Proof requires three things. First, the motive. Why? Did the suspect thump Duncan McBiscuit? Second, the weapon. What was he thump with? Third, a witness. Who can collaborate? C -c -c corroborate, said. Uh, back up your accusation. Do you have a motive, a weapon, and a witness, Mr. Wallace? Uh, I'll just recalibrate the inference ometers. There we are. What'll it be? Motive, weapon, or witness? Hmm, where to begin? Uh, it, it, <laughs> this is the most bizarre whodunit I've ever seen. Okay. I suppose we'll start with motive. Right, that's the one. What's the one? Uh, motive. I've solved the motive. Excellent! Tell us why uh, Wadgy Podge and Tinky Pink thumped Duncan McBiscuit. Don't. Well, out with it, man. Uh, uh, um, just a moment. Can you spare a motive, lad? I if you've got one, give it here. A motive. Uh, well, the motive would be... The motive is Felicity Flit. Are you saying that Miss Flit's doggies attacked Mr. McBiscuit to save their mistress from some terrible event or threat to her person? Well, I, uh... Was it blackmail? Uh... Uh, well, uh, I can't rightly say for sure. Then don't say out. <laughs> Your motive doesn't stand up. Uh, ooh. Uh, sorry, it is only a prototype. All right, that's enough of that. Everyone can go about their normal business, but remember, Nobody leaves the house until the mystery is solved. Once I have the deductomatic properly calibrated, this case will be elementary, dear Gromit. Elementary. In the meantime, why don't you uh, sniff up some clues for the deductomatic for process, eh, lad? You might start with the constable there. I expect he's got some juicy leads. I've got the suspects right where I want them. Written down on the official constabulary notepad. I'll crack the case with this, I will. Oh, well, I guess it was impossible to really solve it right from the beginning, I, I assumed, but let's go ahead and plug that back in. Eureka! I've got it! You sure this time, Mr. Wallace? I'll summon the suspects. Whoops. No, no, I wasn't ready. All right, so don't plug it in until we're actually ready. Okay, I got it. I, I just thought he would... I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know what I was thinking. We'll talk it's about it. got to be one of these three. But which one? to be some physical object. I remember a case a few years back where the motive was a turnip, with two blokes claiming the groin rights. Hmm. Right, the weapon. I'll wager it's a blunt object. Your more polite objects rarely do much thumping. Hmm, yes, the witness. Likely to be a person. Your vegetables and minerals don't generally have much to offer in the way of witnessing. Do 
you sent something, boy? Hmm. She clearly had a motive. And perhaps under that soft, knitted exterior lurks the soul of a hardened thumper. I must question her. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right, can I check the footprints in any way? Watch your step, Gromit. That's a slippery slope. Simpler times, eh, lad? Yeah, we weren't solving mysteries like this. Well, dogs thumping. I love English lingo. All right, uh. Well, let's take a gander, see if we can find a source through the tracks. Do they, do they lead anywhere? No, they stop out here, though. That doesn't make... Really? <sighs> Want to see you, Private? Nobody's really in here, it seems. Well, um... I guess we'll just follow around the constable until we kind of piece things together, because I don't have much... But you do admit you had a motive. He happened to dead, and I could have thumped him, buried him, and drowned him twice over since I've been down here. None of you lot seems worried about that, though. That can't be everywhere, Miss Gabberly. Not with so many suspects to interview. More important than tending the victim of the crime, is it? Look here. I can't stand around chatting all day. I've a thumper to catch. See that you don't leave the house. Oh boy, I have like little to go on right now. I it, it, it was clearly the freaking dogs. I just have to find a way to piece it together. Mr. Gabberly promised he'd run shop for me. Imagine him downstairs, face to face with actual customers. Does he even have a face? He took quite a thumping, didn't he? Can't say he didn't deserve it. Still can't leave him to rot all on his lonesome. Someone's got to tend to the great lug. He's coming round. Ugh, my heat. Somebody stop the spanning. There's a whirlpool I'm in. Don't fret, Patch, you've had a nasty knock. Did you see who thumped you? No, but I can almost remember what hit me. The terrible weapon that laid me low, it's... You saw the weapon what hit you? I, I think so. It was... Oh, I can't remember a thing. My brain's been boggled. Ooh, you've got amnesia, you have. Amnesia? Oh, no, that as well as a bang to the head. Is it fatal? Just take things step by step, Chuck. What's the last thing you can remember? Well, I was upstairs getting set for a jump junior on slide, but something wasn't right. Them little dogs of Felicity's were underfoot and they wouldn't shut their yaps. Duncan McBiscuit doesn't take guff from yapping wee dugs. So I grabbed that bone toy of theirs and took it away. They didn't like it one bit. Oh no! Best part was when I squeezed the wee toy, it drove them crazy because it made this noise. This noise. Oh, what was that noise? I cannot recall. My brain's turned to haggis. Don't fret, Pat. Just rest. It'll come back to you. He can remember the weapon. I'm sure it's the shovel. We'll try that, but maybe he'll recognize the sound. That's it. The sound of the toy. Now I remember. Go on. Then what happened? Oh, I kept the toy and shut the wee doggies doing the slide. They didn't like that one bit, neither. <laughs> I was having a grand time. I wanted a wee picky to remember by, so I went down to that photo thingamajig. I struck a manly pose, and I was... I was... Oh, Crivens, it's all fading away. I'll be forgetting my own name next. Oh, don't get yourself in a twist, love. It'll come back to you. 
Did the weapon look like this? Oh, that's no help. No. Okay, well, they, he got hit by something else then. They just buried him with the shovel. Well, I, I, it was worth a try. I'm sure somebody would have thought of it anyway. Alright, well, let's take a look upstairs. Well, pardon me. Go have some fun. Or not. What? How did they... How did they toss Gromit out of the... How... What? Oh my... Uh, I can go to town? Well, here's my way out, I guess. Let's take a gander. I mean, we have to be allowed to go outside for some reason. I love that this rain Mr. effect is... is news agent. Now open for business! Is that a customer I hear? I didn't figure they'd ever show his actual face. Satisfaction guaranteed! But I'll give you what for! Oi! You wanna shop here? You gotta follow my rules! Yeah! Take what you like and I'll put it on slate! Business will sort out payment later! Got that? Oi! Don't nick nothing while you're about it! Blimey! That were easy! I don't know why Winnie makes so much fuss! Just now in fashion, Tattletale, Rippin' Rugby. Oh, uh, well. I doubt we're gonna need that. We'll give a gander. Guess we'll nab up Tattletale. I'm just gonna assume that might be one we need. Oh, it sent me straight back home. Well, oh, hey, flowers. Don't know what that would be about. And, uh... Anything else? I doubt I'm gonna be allowed to just go inside. Oh, there. My way in without raising suspicion. Fantastic. You shouldn't eat candy floss, Mr. Paneer. Bad for your teeth. Oh, I'm not eating it. I just like having something to hold. You must try to stop worrying so. What? The thumper? Who knows where he'll strike next? I don't think there is a thumper. I think Duncan just fell over and wandered off by himself. He's a clumsy oaf, you know. Aye. He is heavy on his feet, that's for sure. He'll bounce back. He always does. It's Poochie Woo and Tinky Wee I'm worried about. Those silly accusations hurt their feelings. I just hope playing dress-up will lift their spirits. A new look is a tonic for the soul, don't you find? Great, I don't know how to play dressing-up games as it happens. Doggy dress-up, silly. I just need to pick the right outfits. So many to choose from. I'm probably gonna have to bugger off and go get that, uh... You know, fashion magazine, because that's probably gonna be what I need, actually. Decide. <laughs> good, good, good pose, Gromit. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm keeping that then. Fantastic. Ah, oh, it's only you, Gromit. For a moment I thought... Well, never mind. 
I'm sorry, lad, but if you want some candy floss, you'll have to get your own. I'm rather attached to mine. Well, we already nabbed some up, but let me go get that fashion magazine. I'm sure that's what we're gonna need. I suppose the new, hey, grab this, should have led to something, but I'll just nab that right quick and come back. Okay, nabbed up another mag. Let's take a peek. Oh, what a nice present. That's a stylish look. I do admire those sunglasses. I suppose they're back in fashion. Seems I'm something of a trendsetter. I don't know if you had anything to do with that, but... Ah, Gromit. You must know what the debonair dog likes. Why don't you help me pick an outfit for my precious darlings? Use your doggy fashion sense and choose your favorite hat, glasses, and color. Those were supposed to be in fashion. For very latest. There's only one of these. That's a good choice. But one of my sailor hats is missing. Poochie Woo and Tinky Wee like to wear matching outfits. So, I'm just gonna assume that we're gonna be missing that. The one that's missing has to be the right answer, yeah? Poochie Woo and Tinky Wee will love this. Poochie Woo, Tinky Wee. Time for dress up, my dears. Oh, look at this. Hello. You found Mr. Squeaky, you clever things. I was afraid he'd never turn up. Now we're really ready for some fun, aren't we? Let's get dressed up. The poor things are shy. Would you mind leaving us alone for just a little while? Uh, sure. I'll back off. I wonder if Grom even knew about that. Anyway, fix. I wonder if we need a specific spring to be up or something. Let's leave it at that for now. Oh, I can go down this slide? Hmm. Well. Bonsai! <laughs> that was cute. All right, uh, I guess back to solving mysteries. Yeah. One of these suspects knows Summit, but who to question first? Uh, I don't know, Staring Constable. I'm sure I'll detect Summit eventually. Caught a scent, have you? Hmm, his motive is clear enough. But could this apparently gentle purveyor of fine groceries be a Jekyll and Hyde character, perhaps? A vicious thumper in disguise? I must interrogate him! Go have a gander, then. Uh, see how the interview or thing's going. And put that candy floss down while I'm interviewing you, if you please. <laughs> I'll ask you again, and this time I want a straight answer. Did you, or did you not, thump Duncan McBiscuit? Did you not? I mean, you did not. Uh, that is to say, me, not you. I mean, I mean, not you, me. All right, that's enough. Just you watch yourself, Mr. Paneer, or I'll be watching you. Got it? Not another word. Phew. What happened to my little friend and protector? I have to spin open over. Hmm. 
Hmm. We only still get the one in our inventory. Do we have to prevent him from taking another one or something? Whatever. You like the pretty pictures? <gasps> Butts. <laughs> I suppose we'll have to take the, uh... I like how ours go there, too. This holiday didn't turn out quite the way he planned, did it? My poor little darlings. They love a fashion shoot, but they were so agitated they couldn't sit still. Do you know what upset them? Some horrid person stole Mr. Squeaky. Isn't that awful? Mr. Squeaky's only a bone, but he's absolutely their favorite toy. The three of them are inseparable. Personally, I think it was that constable. Who else could be so cruel as to steal from a couple of helpless little puppies? He looks so happy. He's like a little boy, crazy for candy floss. My poor little Duncan. All he wanted was to take me out on a date. Perhaps I'll let him, if we ever get out of here. Not my best shot. He thinks he's so important. Oh, Mrs. Gabbly is as cute as kittens. Or uh, strays, anyway. Wow. <laughs> Rude. The Major seems to have lost his bearings. Well, that was that. I have no idea what to do. I'm completely lost. I don't really know what I have to look for. Let's see if we can interview the Constable, though. Or, I mean, the uh, Major. Three Get the constable to suspects. interview the major. One of them's got to be the thumper. You can do this, Ernest Dibbins. What is it, boy? Yes, I'll have a little chat with the major. Perhaps he knows something he doesn't know he knows. Wait, what? Are you saying that he knows some unknown known that he doesn't know he doesn't know? Well, I guess we'll find out. Take a gander. And if you don't believe me, I invite you to inspect the evidence. Are you having a laugh? Enough questions! We're wasting time! The spies could be signaling their ship. If they give away our position, we're done for! <sighs> All right, yes, fine. So tell me what these so-called spies of yours looked like. Don't mind if I do. It was dark, dark as a darkened room. Then the door cracked open, and I saw them. Swarthy little men with sunken eyes and primitive tattoos dragging Duncan's limp body. Sailors, judging by their uniforms, natives of the South Seas, I'd say. Stake my reputation on it. Did they look like this? No, no, no. Eyes more sunken, with heavy brows. That's better. Add nautical tattoos round their necks, and don't forget the uniform. There we are. A hint more menace. Just a hint now. Yes, now you've got it. Those are the villains I saw. Right, so this is what they look like, eh? Post that picture to every Jack Tar in the Navy! We've got to stop them before they make landfall! That's just what I'll do. The man means well, but he's a couple of bricks short of the full hod. Well, I suppose we'll use this to choose the fashion style, yeah? I need that hat, though, I think. Well met, Private. Thank you. <laughs> just, I'll just take it. 
sunken eyes, though. I, maybe we, we have the wrong glasses, but let's take a peek. We'll take a peek, see if we got the full uniform now, and if we can get this together. Help me pick another outfit, Gromit. Sure thing. Oh. Here you are. Oh, you found it. Good boy. Now Poochie Woo and Tinky Wee can play sailor again. All right, well. The glasses we chose should be good enough. I hope. Looks like they might work. Aye, aye, Captain. And of course, we need the full sailor outfit. John. They're show dogs, you know. Prize winners. Honors in the hammer throw. Where could a hammer be? Good dog. Nice choice. Coogee woo. Tinky wee. It's dress up time, my darlings. Don't a fuss, hammer. sweeties. You can go back upstairs in a minute. Right now, I need you to sit still. They keep wanting to go back upstairs for something, too. Can I do anything in the room while they're not here? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Perfect! All right, I got it. Come on, boop, boop it, boop it, boop it. Yes, perfect. I knew that spring was gonna come into play. All right. Let's take a shortcut so we don't run into them on the stairs. We also saw that they have an honor in hammer throw. Meaning... Checking provisions, eh? Good military planning. Who knows how long that fool of a civilian constable will keep us cooped up? Best start rationing now, before panic sets in and we have to eat our pack animals. Or each other. <laughs> Major, you were just... You are just the craziest guy. We can make toast. I wonder if that scroll will come back. We have toast! Why, I don't know. Ah, come on, as sharp as a butter knife. I'll take a wee photo. And doing something. Ugh, oh, I need you to stay good. Don't fret now. It'll come back. Oh, you're oh, eating candy floss. And so am I. That's right. I remember. Go on. I was taking a picky, holding a stick of candy floss. Oh, I love that stuff, me. I got my hunger up. Just then, like an answer to my prayers, the gong sounded for supper. I came to table, and there I found heaven, my lovely lass, Felicity. I remember the fine, sweet smell of her, like... She smelled like... Um, oh, blast it all. My nose is a blank. I cannot recall. Give it time, love. You'll remember. She smelled like these flowers, yeah? That's it! The sweet scent of felicity! How could I forget? I remember! I remember everything now! I'm cured! You've cured my ham knees! You cured me, and... and... I were a right numpty with you, weren't I? Still are, I reckon, but don't go weepy on me now. Tell me what happened after you sat down to supper. I was making a toast when the lights went it. 
My eyes were adjusting to the dark when... Thump! <gasps> who thumped you? Oh, I never saw who, but I saw what. The supper gong mallet! That's what hit me! The supper gong mallet? You sure, Chuck? Sure? Oh, I. Look! Look what it did to me! Ooh! Hey, that's a crime, that is. No wonder your mind's been a blank. What kind of person would do that? They should be locked up. You go back to sleep now, love. Get some rest. Well, I figure that bit out. Now we have to get the hammer from them for the weapon. Perhaps I end up making a trade? I don't know what the... the Well, we already know you guys are hammer throw pros. I need that hammer. That's an extra fluffy batch. Can't do any harm to trade up. Just this once. Oh, crikey, it's heavy. Must be family-sized floss. All right. Well, I know I know how to get the floss from him now, which will get me the hammer. So we have to get the constable to interview him again. All right, constable. I need you to do me a favor. It's got to be one of these three, but which one? Do you sense something, boy? Hmm, maybe this time I'll get some sense out of him. Let's give it a go then. So this will solve the weapon, and I have the uh, pull motive. That candy floss down while I'm interviewing you, if you please. Ooh. I'll ask you again, and this time I want a straight answer. Did you or did you not thump Duncan McBiscuit? Did you not? I mean, you. I mean, not you. Me so we'll take the mallet back. Weapon, get all right. Into my armpit it goes. Quite enough, thank you. That's enough, I said. Phew. What happened to my little friend and protector? I have to spin open over. Boy, does that thing make a lot of floss? Oh, hey, look at that picture. It's like straight from the show. It's actually one of the actual pictures. I'm just gonna give it a go, see if we can get it to work. We have the picture. Let's give it a try. Ah, yet I think I've solved it. I certainly hope so. I'll gather the guests. Where do you want to start? Start with the weapon. Of course. Now we'll get the facts. Get what facts? Uh, the weapon. I've determined the weapon. Well done. Tell us what, um, what you podge in Winky T used to thump Duncan. <laughs> well, out with it, man. Uh, uh, um, just a moment. Do you have anything resembling a weapon, lad? I could use one sharpish. It's not sharp, though, it's this. It's this. The weapon is this mallet. Eee, you bang on the money this time, Wallace. I remember now. That's what it, Duncan, all right. He said so himself, and he's got the dent in his bonds to prove it. It all makes sense now. 
That's a maladjusted mallet, all right. Maladjusted? What makes you say that? Well, it looked all fluffy and pink and delicious, but underneath it were rock hard and not very tasty. Uh, thank you, Mr. Paneer. It appears that the mallet is indeed our weapon. Well done, Wallace. Yep. Thanks, Wallace. You're on the way to proving your case, Wallace. We have a weapon. What's next? <sighs> All right. The uh, we'll we'll go go for witness. Racking. Now we'll know the truth. The truth about what? Uh, the witness. I've identified the witness. Good show. Tell us who witnessed um, uh, Tinky Woo and Podgy Wee assaulting Mr. McBiscuit. <laughs> well, out with it, man. Uh, uh, um, just a moment. Uh, who would you pick for a witness, lad? There's only one person who had an idea of what they looked like. That'd be Major. My witness is Major Crumb. Quite right. I saw him. He was black as pitch. The door cracked open, and I saw him dragging away the body. Short, hairy fellows with sunken eyes and tattooed necks. Sailors from the South Seas. Spies! Spies from abroad! Not this again. I think we've heard enough. Wait, Major. Did your spies look like them too? Lord heavens! That's them, all right. I'd recognize them anywhere. Put those spies in irons. You would be silly. They're puppies. Dogs of war, more right. What war? Oh, there is no war. What? All right, let's let sleeping dogs lie, shall we? The main point is, the Major saw these two dragging away Mr. McBiscuit. Isn't that right, Major? It most certainly is. In that case, according to the law, he is a legitimate witness. Bingo. The case against uh, them two dogs is coming together. The only piece of the puzzle left is the motive. And the motive is... Can you rustle up a motive, man? The motive is... This chew toy. Really? The pups are very attached to that toy. I know from bitter experience. Of course they are. Mr. Squeaky was a present from their mumsy. That doesn't make it a motive for hurting Duncan, though. Oh, yes, it does. Duncan stole the toy from them doggies. Told me so himself. He never did. Oh, he did. If Mr. McBiscuit did indeed take their favourite toy, that could well be a motive for thumping. But why would Duncan want to take Mr. Squeaky? The very idea is ridiculous. Ridiculous? Possibly. But on the balance of probabilities, spot on. I believe this motive meets the test of the law. Wallace, you've shown us motive, weapon and witness. And according to the powers vested in me as an officer of the law, I now pronounce the case solved. Duncan McBiscuit was thumped by a mallet because of a stolen chew toy, the crime being witnessed by Major Crumb. The perpetrators of this evil deed were none other than the canine criminals, Poochie Woo and Tinky Wee. No, it can't be. My darlings are precious, kind, easy wincy doggies, not hooligan hounds. I knew it. Wallace knew it. Put them in chains. Throw away the key. Batten down the hatches. Cabin doors to manual. All in a day's detective work. Oh, I really do feel fit. Ooh. Oh, dear. Oh, shackle those miscreants. 
this then take the ball I guess uh, we'll take the tea kettle take the candy floss or I can't see with your button the way Wallace the candy floss and then finally that ooh it's too far where did that bucket go there you are I got all the items I need, I think. All right, what what do we what do we do here in this situation? They're too fast for your lad. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Uh, let's try ninja starring the thing. Oh. All right. Well, can I ninja star the the thingamabob there? Yeah, that got into the water at least. I'll take that. Thank you. I need to get them off. Said if you notice the shovels on my hand there for a bit. All right. Uh. There we are. I got him to stop. Alright, now that I've done that, maybe I can, uh... Hit, hit that now, yeah? There we go. Whoops. <laughs> Heavens above! They followed their toy down the drain! Well, I'll give them one thing, they're dogged to the end. Welcome aboard, lad. Just a short jump to dry land, eh? No, no, drop it! I'm about to be flushed! Do something! I don't know why I was in a swimming animation there. Alright, well... We've sparked this thing before, so let's try that. Don't do it, lad! You'll blow yourself to smithereens! Gotcha! Thank heavens, we've made it, Gromit! We're back on dry land! That's one you owe me, pal. Um... I do hope everyone's had an unforgettable holiday, and that you'll consider visiting West Wallaby Street Waterworld again next year. <laughs> Romit, where are you, lad? We've got quite a clean-up job in front of us. No time for dawdling. From it, from it. I'd say Gromit deserves a well, a well nice rest. That mess around him. Well, that was interesting. The <laughs> I like that this became a whodunit. That was pretty fun. It see, I, I think I was able to be a little bit more observant this time around. It didn't take me as long to solve stuff as it did in the first chapter, I don't think, or first episode, but... It's still pretty clever. The puzzles are really clever, and I really like them. This game... This game's really, really good. I like it a lot so far, so... Uh, there's only two more episodes left, and I hope you'll come back and join me for them as well.
So, until then, this has been Blue Bomber IMO. Thank you very much for watching. And hey, Telltale, good job. You did Wallace and Gromit good. You, you did him right. This is one heck of a game. Until next time, have a great day.